I'm Brian Dunning from Skeptoid.com, and this is the static firing test of the largest solid rocket booster ever built. Commence ultrasonic data system checks. Commencing ultrasonic data system checks. Roger. Commence instrument room one checks. Commencing instrument room one checks. Roger. Commence instrument room two checks. Commencing instrument room two checks. Roger. Commence forward bunker checks. Commencing forward bunker checks. Roger. Commence aft bunker checks. Commencing aft bunker checks. Roger. Commence a... Three, two, one, fire. Oh, <laughs> Plus five. so bright I can't even look straight out the flame even with the sunglasses. Operator, enable the deluge CO2 and quench tool controls. Controls are enabled. It's about two hours after the launch now. Why don't we go up and see what it looks like? Ho oh, ho, look at that right there! The thing we were all most excited about is the glass that when the rocket goes off, it uh, makes glass. It melts all of the sand and, uh, and the gravel. It makes this kind of, kind of this bluish glass. And uh, we were advised that we'd probably be able to get to pick some up. But as you can see, the uh, work crew has been here for two hours already. They come up here right as soon as it's done. And they start to clean everything up because it's contaminated with hydrazine. But it's a really neat place. I just love this, this hillside, how they've got it totally scoured so that the uh, rocks and debris won't go flying.